Hey guys, we're playing Interloper, and I'm going to try to talk my way through this, but I tend to get distracted and just play the game, because there's a lot happening in this one, and it's real time, so you can't really just wait and discuss your moves. So we're going to start off taking our first factory and our first power for the factory. Grab this wall and this free drone. And at this point, there's a few things you can do. I'm going to try attacking, which is sending this my first unit to take her power, and that will turn off or at least weaken the ability for her to construct units from there. We'll rally these guys in. She's coming back for it. Get in the way. Nice little block there. Bring more units over convert these two into a husk and the husk has basically three defense when it's going to be blocking so this will actually be equal to those guys oh, let's make another husk can continue playing defensively this husk can get up here and really just mess her stuff up so I'm going to take this power because it's close to me and it's going to give me a decent sight lines and it's going to be hopefully defensible and I can get up here and cut off this factory from her from her using it. So trade away the defender and then here we are. She's now coming in to take the power over. Nice play. We're gonna be able to cut off any further uh, advancing in that direction. And we'll do our counterattack up here, taking over her power. So we now have three factories, which basically means we're going to win the game. Her guy is just kind of sitting here. You want to have your your hero running around as much as possible, because that's how you can take territory. And territory is good. Just trade down against her guys. And there you have it. So really a lot can happen, but... I think the moral is you want to focus on your production buildings, these factories, and make sure that they live um, as long as possible. Because you can only have the, the first three power for a, a factory will help it out. Adding a fourth power to that does not increase your, your build rate at all. So you want to have ideally three power, but as many uh, factories as you can. So what I'm able to do here is grab these two free units and then use them to really pressure and take the factory lead right off the bat. And from that point I can uh, ride it to victory. Because there's, there's no actual comeback mechanism in this game. Once you start winning you generally just keep winning. Which I would say it's definitely a bad feature in a very long game, but when you're playing a five minute game, it's not that bad. Yeah, and again here, she's taking over power, but we're taking over factories. So a really quick win there, under a minute. Do the same opening as before. I feel like if people actually play this game seriously, <clears throat> we're gonna see the openings just completely solved for each map. And it'll say like, you know, this is the best possible opening or maybe it's better to go around that way, I'm not sure. But it'll get figured out. You'll have AI or bots that can do the opening the best way and, and test it out. Because this way we're doing this here, it just seems so good to have that these free units at the start lets you take over the first factory. She's doing the same kind of thing here. But she's going to stay and basically guard it, which is interesting, because we're going to go for the power trade that guy off and now both these factories are not working just need to block her off I should have brought these guys closer because now they're going to take a while to, to, while to run over here so it's very direct right you're going to win the game very quickly if you play well and your opponent misses up. It doesn't take a long time for that mistake to to result in something. So you're not going to lame duck around, which is kind of nice when you're losing, and you're not going to waste your time also. 
Uh, looks like we're going to stop for today. Thanks for watching, guys. It's a fun little game. Check it out. It's going to be on Steam sometime this year. And it's pretty good.